director. Always a pleasure to have you here. Let's go ahead and begin with what the CDC director clarified today. Milder does not mean mild. Do you think that word mild terminology gave people kind of a false sense of safety with this latest surge? Yes, yeah, so Audrey, I think that many people think it's universally mild, but being in the hospital this week, I can tell you that there are still a lot of patients, even with Omicron, who are having very severe disease, who are, uh, you know, having abnormalities on their chest imaging. We have to give them a lot of medicines, and we have over 100 patients in the UCSF system. Before Omicron, we were, you know, some days without any patients. So it's definitely not a walk in the park right now. And, you know, it's, it's mild for many people, but not mild for everyone. Yeah, definitely not a walk in the park when it comes to this Omicron surge. We are seeing cases and positivity rates dip statewide. And San Francisco health leaders say they believe the city hit its peak a few weeks ago. Do you think we're on the other side of this surge at this point? Yes, I, I definitely think we're on the other side in terms of cases, but we're not really down to flat ground level yet. So it's like we're on the Everest of Omicron and we're coming down Everest uh, and we're hoping to reach that warming hut. Uh, we're, we're almost there. We're coming down very quickly, but we haven't reached there exactly yet. And like you said, there are still a lot of hospitalizations right now. Okay, what about this new Omicron subvariant BA2? A lot of us are just learning about it. More than a dozen cases have already been detected in the state, including two in the South Bay. What do you think the subvariant has in stock for us in the Bay Area? Well, I think people are curious and worried because in Denmark, uh, it went from about 20% of cases in December to now more than 65% of cases in a very short time. It's essentially Omicron as we believe it with a few more mutations. But the good news is that our vaccines with boosting will still keep people away from the hospital. Um, in Denmark so far, the analysis shows that it's not more serious. It doesn't cause more people to go to the hospital. It's about the same as Omicron. I think what's not resolved is whether or not people who had recent Omicron can get reinfected um, with mild symptoms. So that may be as bad as it gets, but it's my in my prediction is not going to get, uh, you know, not be like a new variant per se, although, you know, who knows if it will get its own letter, like which is pi, pi is the next Greek letter, uh, but I don't think it will be of much consequence, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, definitely. I'm sure there are still a lot of questions. We're still trying to figure all of this out. So, Doctor, earlier in the newscast, we talked about a new study that pinpointed four factors that may contribute to COVID long haul symptoms. One factor is the level of COVID RNA in the blood during early infection. What do you think this tells us about the way this virus behaves? Yeah, so I think it corroborates what many of us have been suspecting all along, which is that it's not the virus gets in the body and when it gets in the body your immune system gets really really angry and that immune system can be activated or angry for a very long time in some people maybe 20 percent of people but on the other hand silver lining here again if you get vaccinated there's a lower chance of that virus getting into your body in fact one of the big factors in the study was the amount of virus in your blood we know that vaccinations reduce the risk of the virus getting into your blood. Therefore, people who are vaccinated have a lower chance of long COVID, which is also shown in other studies. The second main pearl about that study is that if people know that they're at risk for uh, severe disease, uh, please advocate to get oral medicines or monoclonal antibodies because that early treatment can eliminate the virus or make it lower in the blood earlier on. Yeah, definitely ways to protect yourself. All right, Dr. Peter Ching Hong with UCSF. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Teacher.